Good morning, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live and the ICC, the International Criminal Court of Justice there, has issued arrest warrants for Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, his Defense Minister Mr. Gantz, as well as Hamas's leader, uh, no doubt, all of these people being guilty of crimes against humanity. But as we already know, the uh, United States is already obeying their masters and they are pushing against the ICC and they're con claiming that this decision by the ICC does not even matter. Uh, I want to play for you a small clip here of the ICC in their initial uh, uh, report here. I can also confirm today that I have reasonable grounds to believe on the basis of evidence collected and examined by my office that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Minister of Defense Yoav Gallant bear criminal responsibility for the following international crimes committed on the territory of the State of Palestine from at least the 8th of October 2023. The crimes include starvation of civilians as a method of warfare willfully causing great suffering, serious injury to body or health or cruel treatment, willful killing or murder, and intentionally directing attacks against a civilian population, as well as crimes against humanity of extermination and or murder, persecution, and allegations of crimes of committing other inhumane acts. It's alleged that these crimes were committed in the context of the ongoing armed conflict and as part of a widespread and systematic attack against the civilian population of Gaza pursuant to a state policy. Unfortunately, these crimes continue to this day. My office submits... I'll pause it for there. <clears throat> that, that'll give, that gives you the gist of it. And... Uh... And yes, the crimes do continue. And uh, what, some 40,000 people have been killed already? At least those are the ones that we know of. Uh, we don't know how many more buried beneath the rubble. And no doubt, probably another 10,000 plus. Uh, you know, the, the, you know, the videos that, that are so eerily um, that back up everything this man has said. Uh, I've looked at many videos of Orthodox Israelis destroying food supplies that are being humanitarian aid that are being sent into Gaza, uh, destroying them before they can even get in there. Uh, we've got uh, uh, countless bombings of buildings. You've got video footage of Israeli drones just... Uh, you know, young people walking and they're targeted and shot and killed dead, totally unarmed. Uh, and there's plenty enough time as the drone follows these people. So, you know, they've had time to already determine if they're a threat or not. And then they're just wiped out. Uh, you know, the targeting of munitions right there on uh, the Rafa camp, etc. You know, and... It's just, it's, it's totally unfathomable. Not to mention, Israeli leaders, uh, before the fight began, even God stating that they would not have food, water, anything. They were going to cut off everything to them and called them animals, let alone the suspect narrative that Netanyahu lays out. I'm going to play to you some of what he had to say as well in response to the ICC uh, and, uh, and his calling on the world community to come against uh, their ruling. The outrageous decision by the ICC prosecutor, Karim Khan, to seek arrest warrants against the democratically elected leaders of Israel is a moral outrage of historic proportions. Let me just first say, state, just because you're democratically elected doesn't make you above the law. It doesn't make you above 
committing crimes of genocide. Your own people are wanting you out of office because of the way you've handled this crisis and the, and the hostages that have been held for so long. You use this to further your agenda. And the Israelis are not stupid. They're just suppressed from telling the truth. It will cast an everlasting mark of shame on the international court. Israel is waging a just war against Hamas, a genocidal terrorist organization that perpetrated the worst attack on the Jewish people since the Holocaust. One you Hamas find massacred 1,200 Jews, raped Jewish women, burned Jewish babies. And we find out hostages. that the burning the Jewish babies now, the was not true. That was done by your own tanks. Yeah. Isn't it funny how you make it look like somebody else did it? And, and where was the IDF? The only brave people in that battle against Hamas that day were the police that did respond, that knew nothing about this staged event, knew nothing about you disarming all of the settlements in and around uh, uh, the Gaza Strip only weeks before this attack. Why don't you tell the world that? Six of these horrors. Mr. Khan creates a twisted and false moral equivalence between the leaders of Israel and the henchmen of Hamas. This is like creating a moral equivalence after September 11th between President Bush and Osama bin Laden, or during World War II between FDR and Hitler. What a travesty of justice. What a disgrace. The prosecutor has absurd charges against me. So there you have it. Netanyahu and his kangaroo um, uh, appeal. Uh, International Criminal Court prosecutor applies for arrest warrants for Netanyahu and Hamas leader Sinwar, as well as uh, Mr. Gantz, the Defense Minister of Israel. Uh, they don't want nobody knowing about this, right? Already, live updates uh, from Haaretz. Israeli Foreign Minister Gantz asked the APEC leaders to work with Congress against the ICC decision. They control your whole government here in America. We don't have freedom here in this country. We are controlled by APEC. Let's, let's look at just how well that's worked already. Well, the president was the one to lead right out and make sure that he made the first statement. Listen up. Let me be clear. We reject the ICC's application for arrest warrants against Israeli leaders. He's Whatever reading his script. Imply, there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. And it's clear. Israel wants to all, do all it can to ensure civilian protection. But let me be clear. Contrary to allegations against Israel made by the International Court of Justice, what's happening is not genocide. We reject that. We will always stand with Israel and the threats against its security. So it's not genocide. Hmm. You know, if you had 20,000 children killed here in America in a, in a space of just a few months, what would you call it? Especially if that 20,000 children died in, a, in an area demographically no bigger than the panhandle of Florida. What would you call it? Just think about it, right? It is totally absurd. Anyway, listen, uh, those of you that want to uh, check out our Patreon channel, patreon.com, Israeli News Live. We've, uh, here in the last couple of days, we've loaded two videos, one teaching and this one here, Encounter of the Third Kind. Uh, interview with uh, Ron Gunter, who has been abducted on multiple occasions in his life. Uh, it, it is tough for him to try to remember details because as they do, they like to try to wipe your memory. Uh, but he does remember 
bits and pieces and tries to put that together in a very comprehensive interview for us there, uh, sharing those uh, harrowing moments of his life. Uh, so anyway, take time, check it out. Patreon.com, Israeli News Live, and that's a great way to support the broadcast. Thank you, and God bless you.